Hi, I'm Andrea, I'm an Italian photographer and I'm currently investigating into all AI tools to see how I can use my real photography, mix it with AI to create something stunning. And today I want to talk about a specific image that I created weeks ago that went viral on my Instagram account. It made over 240,000 likes and many people ask me how I did it. So I'm here to openly share the commands I used to create that image. Um, first of all, a bit of background on why I created this image. I'm a photographer, I use Sony cameras and Sony cameras are excellent, but they're from a design point of view often very boring. And so I'm making a kind of uh, fun on my Instagram account, creating a new kind of cameras that look quite different. And in this case, I wanted to create a Sony camera that looks like made on another planet, so an alien camera. And I went ahead to make a uh, this camera on Midjourney, which is a tool I'm currently using to create those images. First of all, many do think, ah, it's very easy to create cool images on Midjourney. It's not. The only easy part is that it's easy to generate images, but to generate the image the way you really want, that is really interesting, is actually a quite a research. I will show you now how I got to this image and how difficult it was. First, I started with a simple command alien looking Sony A1 camera with Sony logo. I always write with Sony logo, otherwise it will not write the logo on top of the camera. And as you see the results, the logo itself is quite a bit of a mess and the images are not really interesting. I had to do a ton of research, going to look different kinds of prompts, commands, texture, uh, lights, material. Uh, it was a uh, it took me a couple of days to figure out how to get to the alien image I wanted to create. And here I share the command I used. You can see it, you can use it, you can use it on other cameras and other objects, whatever you want. And the results, as you see, are really more interesting as with the simple alien command I showed you before. I did rerun the script till I got to the one image I liked most, which is this one. And as you can see, also in this case, the, for example, the Sony logo isn't written in the right way. So I always work on Photoshop to fix the logo and other parts of the camera so that it doesn't look weird and it doesn't look uh, faulty. And so it took me quite some time to find the right commands, to work on Photoshop, to create this image that then went viral. I will show you more tutorials about how to create nice uh, product photography, landscape photography, portrait photography with Midjourney AI and after that also with other tools that are quite exciting I'm currently test testing. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. With those tutorials I really want to show you in an easy way how to create good images. They will never be long tutorials about long commands. I will always try to simplify everything down so that you get to a quick, nice result that you can use. So this is it for today and I see you soon.